Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Teacher Ida Murni Jamari from YMS EduTech Learning Hub. Inshallah, we help students to improve in math and science by two grades in less than three months. In this video series of Know Your PSLE Math Heuristic Problems, I will be sharing with you the second non-routine problem, and that is repeated identity concept. This concept involves an identity which is being repeated in the question itself. Just like the remainder concept which I went through in the first video, you can click on the link to watch that video. Repeated identity concept also involves a variety of topics which include ratio, fraction and percentage. We can solve repeated identity concept either by using the model method or the units method. In comparison with model method, the units method is more efficient and easier to apply. Reason being, the units method takes away the complexity of having to divide the number of boxes in equal sizes. However, in units method, a common multiple between two numbers is used to make the number of units to be the same. If you are ready, let's take a look at the question. School A has 4 out of 5 as many pupils as school B. School B has 3 out of 7 as many pupils as school C. If the three schools have a total of 5,580 pupils, find the number of pupils in school A. Let us now highlight the keywords. School A, 4 out of 5. School B. This means 4 units belong to school A, while 5 units belong to school B. Next, school B, 3 out of 7, school C, which means 3 units belong to school B and 7 units belong to school C. 3 school total 5,580 pupils. So we asked to find the number of pupils in school A. Now, based on the question, School B is the repeated identity. Hence, we need to make the number of units for school B to be the same by looking for a common multiple. Now, let us solve the question together by using unitary method. So, A is to B is to C. The ratio for A is to B is 4 units is to 5 units. The ratio of B is to C is 3 units is to 7 units. So we can see here B, school B is the repeated identity. As such, we need to find the common multiple between 5 and 3. So let's write that down. The first common multiple or FCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Meaning to say, for the first row of units, in order for us to change 5 units into 15 units, we have to multiply by 3, while the second row of units have to be multiplied by 5. So, we're going to rewrite the new ratio between school A, B, and C. So, that gives us 12 units is to 15 units is to 35 units. So, the question mentions that there are a total of 5,580 pupils. Hence, we are going to total up the number of units, 12 plus 15 plus 35 and that gives us 62 units. So 62 units is referring to 5,580 pupils. Always find one unit. So one unit will be 5,580 divided by 62. That gives us 90 pupils. Now we're interested in the number of pupils in school A, which is 12 units. 
So we're going to find 12 units, 12 multiplied by 90, and that gives us 1080 pupils. If you find this video useful in helping you to solve a repeated identity heuristic problem, like it, share it, and for more videos like this, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the link. Inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.